Ah, you skip over so much. There is there is no time for nuance. And yeah. the, you could have made these were both walking with monsters and no walking with beasts, walking with dinosaurs. They were six episodes. They could have yeah. made walking with monsters twelve. Oh, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Also, then you could have an episode on Edia Carafona. <laughs> no, that would be oh. too boring for these kinds of anime. No, at all... least a little segment. At least a little segment. Uh, you get your three minutes at the start where they have the Earth before life uh, was there, and that's all you get. Mm. No, I, I, I would really like to see some some Edia Carafona just to show how fundamental, how fundamentally different the the Cambrian explosion was. For that, oh. you, you, for that, you should watch uh, David Attenborough's first life, you're sure. I mean, they didn't even properly showcase the Cambrian explosion because all you see is Anomalocaris and yeah. our yeah. vertebrate stand-in and un undescribed trilobites. For mm -hmm. that, for Iria Kara and Fauna, you're sure, you'd have to watch David Attenborough's first life. That's probably one of the few that actually gives those things some justice. Yeah. Um, don't know how well it's aged, but um, it's more. I mean, it would be even. It would be even possible to to build the Idia Cara fauna with with some actual props instead of CG. Yeah, because they're not very big. Among other because things. they yeah. barely move around. The, the whole point of yeah. the Idia Cara fauna is you don't even have predators. It's the most boring episode you could make. <laughs> Uh, yeah. At least for me, it's not boring, but I will. I know. Mm. I mean, it will be very static. But yeah. It reminds me. It. I, I think it. It. Frank. It, it was back when I was on the Spec Evil forum or on some forum. Where obviously, people all the time post their own walking with style documentary ideas, and there was one guy who had obviously a thousand different settings, all kinds of Cretaceous dinosaur settings and so on. Because you know, there's just so many you can't. When you can't choose, I oh, just put it on. But he wanted to. He was also like, okay, and I will have all these paleozoic cells. And he said, oh yeah, in the first episode is Precambrian. We have bacteria. Like unironically, he was like, yeah, and in the same, in my same documentary concept where we have all these different settings with all the dinosaurs that are just working with dinosaurs episodes. He also wants a work with dinosaurs episode from a time when you only have bacteria. Okay, that would even for me be too much. Um, yeah. I mean, they have done uh, documentaries on plants and stuff like that, and those were quite well received. If they're doing the style of those, yeah, but with do... prehistoric ones, it's more difficult because how much do we know? Could you do a documentary just about prehistoric plants? I'm not necessarily referring to doing a prehistoric a documentary on prehistoric plants, but use the, how they do it for prehistoric plants for some things like the more static Ediocaran fauna and whatnot to keep things somewhat interesting. I, yeah. I think at least it would be not widely popular, but I would love to see a documentary on on plant evolution, actually. Mm, yeah. uh, that, that would be interesting, at least. Yeah, so it would have a place. It has a place, for sure. There is mm. so much that is usually left out. Yeah, I mean, sure, with the Carboniferous, you have so much plants, you could do an episode about the plants. Oh, that's also what I hate about the, the arthropods versus vertebrates narrative in Walking with Monsters. In every paleo book I had, the Carboniferous was always labeled the age of amphibians or the age of the swamps, of the carbon swamps, depending on if you want to go with uh, the dominant, if, you, if, you're, if what you consider the dominant life form would be the plants because the forests are growing everywhere, or the top of the food chain, which is giant amphibians. So I hate it for working with monsters. They're like, nah, it's the age of arthropods. Like, obviously, yeah, we have giant arthropods like Meganura and Arthropura, but still, the, the apex predator is going to be the amphibians. And for example, their whole giant spider, we now know that that didn't even exist. I mean, actually, hmm. I think it, it fits quite well because uh, the really big terrestrial amphibians dominantly terrestrial amphibians only appeared at the very end of the Carboniferous Yeah, and, well, and but they are said that 300 million years ago and that is close to the end that is true that um, hmm. is, is weird how they do that
as I mean, there, there are even geologists who are like, oh, we shouldn't even differentiate that much between Carboniferous and Permian. Oh, what? Because so there is apparently no clear cut. Now, I mean, I'm more surprised why the hmm. Carboniferous is so commonly divided in Mississippi and Pennsylvania. That's one where I'm more like, I don't see how those weren't being distinguished because I know some books and some books you even have instead of seeing the word Carboniferous they have Pennsylvanian and Mississippian between Devonian and Permian as if those are their own separate ages and that's one where I'm more like okay but how they don't look that different to me difference uh, I... between Carboniferous and Permian I can definitely see climate wise hmm. oh yeah uh... but also that is oh. more gradual on an unrelated... it's much less clear cut than, than. I mean, the rainforest collapse is a pretty clear cut. Yeah, but at the beginning of the the Permian, they they are all still there. The coal forests are all still there. Yeah, I mean, all the age, all the Paleozoic ages are kind of badly cut. Like in the Devonian, the big Devonian mass extinction isn't between the Devonian and the Carboniferous. It's before the end of the Devonian. Yeah. Hmm. On an unrelated note, and uh, I still don't see how Ordovician and Silurian are even distinguished. On an I mean, unrelated... how how much do you know about the Silurian? <laughs> it's when you have land plants. Yeah, but I mean, I I don't know enough about that to question that. Hmm. Hmm. So. Small thing, yeah, sure. Um, yeah. I get a, a second wish because I posted the uh, yeah. other book, don't I? Yes. Yay. I still haven't thought of what I would do, though. Or That's not, okay. Hmm. So, what now, I guess? Are we join uh, Grace and the others in other talk? I don't know what they are doing. Uh, they are, I think, uh, Grace is going through a playthrough of a game called Tales. Tales of something, but I'm not sure what. Hmm. Oh, I think she mentions it. Um... Yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Forget what it was named. So, hmm. Oh dear, this is a bit of a mess. Hmm. Twitter is proving. Oh, Tales of the Abyss. Oh, that. Tales of the Abyss says, says below. Says oh, that, oh, that's its name. Right. Okay. I know there's a few games called Tales of something or other. So Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. What was I thinking of? Um Oh yeah, Twitter's proving fun, if somewhat confusing to navigate. Ah, uh, like everything at the beginning. Yeah, I suppose. Um, some certain things are a bit. What the fuck? Why do I only have two animals in storage? Oh wait, no, I don't. That's good. Joshua, how is your commission doing? Oh yeah, about that. I'm I'm doing shark right now. Shark, shark in in uh, butt view. Hmm. Oh, yeah, really? Oh, okay. Just scanned it. Needs quite a bit. bit more more editing. 
What's with the fin? Which one? Uh, the top one. The one that looks like it's either prong, like a prong or very... Oh, it's a falcatus. It's a falcatus, so it um, has this weird head clasp. Right. Yeah, I remember seeing some things about those. So. And I'm I'm supposed to do quite a few of these, so I was like, okay, I want a few interesting perspectives in there, not just plain old lateral view. Also, it's easier to paint. <laughs> yeah, um, there's certain animals that get that are only ever portrayed in the sort of you know side on or top down view. Fish, yeah. it's always side on mm. and insects and invertebrates it's always always from the top down yeah when they're portrayed differently mm. as you know actual animals oh god my zoo has so much trash all around it that's what you get when you don't need bins um, Beans are important. Uh, but uh, my problem is, is I'm very bad at assigning uh, staff to work zones. Also, I had one of my uh, monitors give birth to seven offspring, so now the exhibit is too cramped to them. It's too cramped for them. Yeah. Although one of them is an albino, actually. Oh, it's so funny. I'm I'm watching um, some some. I watched some videos on on the prehistoric kingdom alpha, and I've mm. seen so many people doing tiny tiny habitats for the dinosaurs because they are so used to doing planet zoo habitat. Oh dear. Does hmm. the game tell you to make the habitat larger? Or is it like a punishment? Not yet. Not yet. The, the animals the, have no requirements yet. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. So that it's basically like a, a mass reptile breeders. Yeah, yeah you, can all, you can also put <laughs> them all together. Now, the, oh, there no. is, oh. Uh, the, 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 the T-Rex doesn't attack that Montosaurus or stuff. T-Rex is now a herbivore, confirmed. No, wait. T Rex is just waiting for them to die. T Rex oh, is no. a scavenger, confirmed. Jack Horner was no. correct, confirmed. And some people really do very, very cool stuff already. And then there yeah. are other people where I'm like, how unimaginative can you be? <laughs> I mean, just I'm assuming most of the people playing this. I've only known stuff like Jurassic World Evolution, so they just assume, oh, this is no, no, um, no name Jurassic World Evolution. They probably wouldn't even appreciate the dinosaur accuracy because it would be just like, yeah, well, that model is maybe a bit different. I don't know if that matters. Oh, why does the T Rex hmm. have a weird feather texture? Actually, I have seen many videos where people were, were absolutely, um, Amazed by the feathered T Rex and and absolutely loved it that it's actually in in the game. Well, I think at least oh, nearly garage. every every video I have seen, it was first like, oh, they have a feathered T Rex. Let's put that in. Do they have like a list of all the dinosaurs they have in the game? Like a uh, wiki they or... have Microraptor, um, Nasutoceratops, Edmontosaurus, Lumbiosaurus, Styracosaurus, and T Rex. Um, what a huge number. I'm on my website. Yeah. Animals. I mean, Dinos. these are the ones ah. that are in there. There is up to 50 will be in the base game when it's... 10, 11, 12. Hmm. So, not a huge number to begin with. I mean, it's an, uh, they, they, these are all indie games. They all have to start from somewhere. Yeah. I guess. I mean, in, in two or three months, it goes into early access, and then it, there, there should be a few more animals already in, and a few other other things that should be improved as well by that hmm. time. Tomorrow. 
Tyrannosaurus. How do I... The one on the website doesn't have the feathers. How can I see the different... Is there any page where you can see all the skins they have? Um, I don't think so, but when you look in, in general, Joe did a video with, with all the different skins and animal models all together. Oh no, my panda's about to die. Oh, oh no! Fuck. Oh shit, that was, uh, that was depressing. Well, it was a red panda actually, but she was walking up a branch and quite literally fell off it. Oh god! Oh no! Oh no! She died. That what, is was terrible. she too old, or did you treat her? What do you take me for? I don't do know. You, uh, to, be fair, uh, incident? to be fair, I am the guy who very nearly uh, uh, sent all my reindeer off to the wolf enclosure. So, ah, what? Uh, by accident, you understand. By ac accident, yeah, 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 accident happens. Many happy accidents. Mm. Hazar, I have my cattle worries. Hmm. Is the cattle worry females were bigger than males? I looked at this, they are larger. Considerably so. Alright. How to make this exhibit best for them? Okay, they need less long grass, more soil. Ooh, fang, I didn't know that. That's indeed a nice detail. Oh, nice. Cassowaries like water, don't they? Call correctly. I mean, in the wild, they they do. I don't know how close they have it in the game. Um, it doesn't say they have water requirements, but I I'm going to go with the idea that these cassowaries would like a pool or something like that. That. Too deep. Way too deep. Yeah, there's a picture of the feathered rex. On the website, they have under Tyrannosaurus both Rex and Batar listed. Yeah. Why are they going with Tyrannosaurus Batar? In the game, it's actually called uh, Tabasaurus. Yeah, I feel like on the website it would have been easier to have that as a separate, just because you just want to showcase as, mu as much as possible in your animal lineup. Like, for example, with the Pachyrhinosaurus, they only have the image of the Canadensis, even though they have Lacusta and Canadensis and Peroterum. And the Peroterum one with the with the uh, woolly uh, thing would be the, the more interesting design to show off, I would say. Hmm. Uh, here, so um, how with the T-Rex, I think they should have shown the feather T-Rex. I, I was yesterday with, with Cindy, one of the devs in, in the voice chat, and she was building a really big enclosure, I think five square kilometers or something, just for some Styracosaurus and Lambiosaurus, and here's her art station, and uh, you can see some of the, the T-Rex and Tarbosaurus in there, also as a 3D model. Ah, oh, fucking sand. There we go. Right. 
Are they satisfied with that? Stupid also, dumbass. on the topic of indie games with super accurate dinosaur models, whatever whatever happened to Path of Titans? That was last year. Has anyone playing still playing that? Are they still doing updates on that? I'm. It's going. I I I know no one who plays this actively, but uh, it's still getting updates and stuff like that. Squatch Tarbosaurus. Okay. Do they hey, give? Did they give the Tarbosaurus the dual lab because of that? Suppose of that Tarbos one paper back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that paper debunked? Uh, it's uncertain. The problem ah. is they never got that specimen out of the ground, if I remember correctly. Ah, yeah. ah, see, I like the one T-Rex model she has with the short pelt where you can only when you really closely look see that it actually has feathers. Like the one that has a feather texture that isn't shaggy. Like you could argue Which that one? is a, um, this one because the description says this actually has a short pelt, but it's not like pretty much every other feather dinosaur model where you could argue, ah, isn't that too fluffy for the size of the animal. Now I mean it's mm. it's um oh the broomer one yeah no it's that that is actually um that has no feathers it just ha has a has a skin texture that looks I know but I'm furry. saying that might be a better choice to have feathers on such a large animal where you get into the whole overheating argument than the other one where it's more clearly. I mean, okay, the other one is still fine, but, you know, sometimes yeah, I... when people hear feather T-Rex, like the Saurian T-Rex, that was the old one that had a super fluffy feathering. Yeah, no, I'm I'm actually fine with this. I, I personally would have done a little bit less. Um, but it's, I'm I'm okay with it. You you can say, oh, it's 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 one from Canada. Yeah, and like for example, it looks mm. more realistic because the problem that you usually have with like feather T Rexes when you make them fluffier, it always looks like oh, there's only two things: either it's completely feathered or completely featherless. Like the the body parts look like it looks like the feathers have been glued onto parts of the bodies. It doesn't look like they match to the body. So making the feathers super short, but still there makes it look more realistic that you have more of a gradient from feathered to the skin, the feathers look more when they are so super short, more of a texture thing. It looks more like the feathers are part of mm. the animal than if you had the, the the alternative looks more like oh we get a model of a completely naked T Rex and we put some feather three D models on top of that. Yeah, but there is not really something in between. Doing well, that, I would argue something like that texture where you have these short feathers. No, but but if you do it as a texture, nobody will notice. Nobody will see that. It's mm, extremely, right. it's extremely subtle. I mean, gamers nowadays have their fucking four K, four billion. Graphics PCs, they will notice. Yeah, but most of the time you are not next to the animal. You are a few meters away. So, huh, that uh, works quite well, actually. What kind of trees do you think? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I got to go. So goodbye, everyone. Good day, bye. Bye. Um, Dragon Sanders, I think, oh, the face is fine. The face is fine. Um, they, they, they actually, when, when you really, um, look at it, they, the, the model of the, um, the Tabosaurus is actually a little bit different. For, for one, it's, it's smaller. Um, but also, um, the, uh, the torso and the skull are, are slimmer. When you really look at it. Joshua, with the short text, I mean more something compared to, for example, this uh, antelope. This is a large antelope. Obviously, the antelope is not naked. It just has very short fur. 
Obviously, yeah. it has more uh, longer fur on the back uh, of the neck and so, but like the rest of the body is still covered in fur. It's just super short fur. I, I would also prefer something like that, but I can absolutely understand why they didn't do it, because um, we know this animal has fur. If you didn't know that it has fur, would you know that it has some, except for the longer parts on, on the back? Yeah. I'm more upset by the by the lack of lips, but that's... Hmm. So one thing with the... Um, what do you call it? Uh, Tyrannosaurus, and it looked like it was... Um, it looked like it has saber teeth. Uh, that should do it for them. Oh, Feng, sure. You can absolutely do that. And I do it all the time, Feng. No one watches, but uh, they, but you can do it. Well, they don't watch me, at least. I may watch you. Ooh, but I really like the the yellow color of the 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 brunel T Rex. I looked up John Conway's T Rex because I thought that was one that also has very short fur. But I guess it's, I guess yeah, I guess the, the Conway T Rex is a nice uh, way of having a, a feather T Rex without it looking overly fluffy. That, uh, yeah, that one is like in between the super short pelted brumal rex and the more clearly feathered brumal rex. Also, the image takes forever to load. Yeah, drawing you up there, you have faster internet than me. Yeah, should it? Should do it. Yeah, I would like to see something like that too, but it's, yeah, I think that would have been really, really difficult. Oh my god. I'm okay with it. So much rubbish. All over the floors. So much mess. Ah, uh, yeah. Victoria. How many different T-Rex models do they have? Like how many variations? You mean in PK? Oh, I thought that Victoria was also a PK no, no, that, one. That's for, that's for a special uh, exhibition, specifically for, for a 
temporary exhibition um, that travels throughout the US in the moment. Yeah, unfortunately, they made the, the feathers pinacious. And I don't know why they give these little tiny wings, but otherwise, it's it's a beautiful model. What do you say? Because you have to put something on the arms. Yes. <laughs> otherwise, you just have these little noodle sticks hanging there. They look l less like, frankly, I think they would look uh, less like noodle sticks if they. People would pay less attention to the arms if the feathers weren't there. And that's a good thing. I honestly hate all the fanboys who hate feathers on T-Rex simply because of T-Rex's arms. Because everyone who's like, ah, no, T-Rex with feathers looks so stupid. For a whole century, everybody has been memeing and joking about T-Rex having short arms. And though that that's a much bigger in quotation marks flaw with the animal than whether it's covered in feathers or covered in scales. People just like complaining about T Rex, it seems. Oh yes, throwing me up the <laughs> What is that? I'm mostly just confused. experience of a sort. Oh god, I need more key caretakers. Next week is Moses Hall week, isn't it? Yep. That, well, technically, it's already Monday here. So Moses Hall week has so already it is started. basically already Moses Hall week, yeah. Oh, OK. Does anything tend to happen on uh, Twitter or social media during these uh, event, uh, week, paleo weeks at all? I mean, it, it happens everywhere. Yeah, I was just sort of meaning if um, uh, do people do things? Oh yeah, there's. I mean, there's a lot of posts on YouTube. There's a lot of videos. Hmm. Um, we will have a special Moses or stream. Yeah. Wait. Oh, yes, that's right. I cannot get them to it because some exhibits are not accounted for. Yeah. So it seems no matter what I do, I cannot escape the curse of Gromit. You can't. It's just like how Joshua can't escape being depicted as a son. Even though last year with the pay, your battle pay your artist, Joshua basically drew a design for himself. We all ignored it and instead drew him as the Teletubby son. Yep. I don't even know who originally created that image and when. 
I also can't Dialogue. remember. It was Dylong originally, I think. Well, he claims ownership of it. Did he? He, he just posted it right now. That doesn't mean that he originated it. Uh, no, I think it was Dino Chuck. Dino Chuck, sorry. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like Dino Chuck. It was Dino Chuck who originally created it. Um, uh, I mean, my my um, Battle Paleo artist form was basically just as a proof of concept. Look. Yeah, but for example, when you drew Darren Nash with the only vertebrate that is not a tetrapod as his lower body, we all drew him doing like scribble games or uh, yes. picture from games as that design. But with you, it's because just... Darren has no other form. <laughs> yeah. Whereas if, we... if he could just draw a guy with glasses and brown hair and a beard, that would also be enough to say, oh, that's Darren. Technically, we don't need to draw the, the fish hair. Nah, but that mm. makes it makes it immediately um, recognizable. Mm. With mine, uh, the cause for it was, I think it stuck around for two things. One is that um, people seem to enjoy doing it because it, they know it pisses me off. Um, and the second... <laughs> But it originally started because some idiot uh, couldn't, uh, uh, didn't understand UK accents, to put it very simply. Oh yeah, true, true. Delong, Delong did the uh, the data bit on pigs. I do wish in Planet Zoo you didn't need to have the water so deep to uh, make animals dive. I feel like it should be shallower. Oh, by the way, is the is the update already in for the water painting? I don't know yet. Genuine? No, I'm uh, genuinely not too sure. To mm, sure. Probably not then. Uh, I'll check the Steam page. It's a uh, free update. No, uh, no, that's uh, 30th of March. It's along with the Southeast Asia pack. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, basically, Dromia wrapped uh, some uh, some ignoramus thought uh, that I sounded a bit like Wallace from Wallace and Gromit. But um, to anyone who recognizes UK accents, they will know that is uh, beyond ridiculous. The fact that you didn't even then was, I just think it's funny, you weren't even like turned into Wallace in the comics that he turned you to Gromit. The, who, it wasn't even what, yeah, we didn't say you sound like Gromit, we said you sound yeah. like, someone said you sound like Wallace and then we start drawing you not as Wallace, but as Gromit. Which, that kind of makes no sense. I, I think it kind of does because I said I'm not going to attempt a Wallace impression because I can't do a convincing Yorkshire accent. Uh, and that if some of my Yorkshire friends heard me, they would never let me hear the end of it. But um, it was because I then made a quote unquote Gromit impression, which is to say I was silent for a minute. No. And I asked how that was, and people joked about it. And I think that's where Armin got the idea from. Was it Armin who who had? I know I got the prompt which said Zek transforms into Gromit, but I don't know whether Armin was the one who wrote the it. prompt. Armin started it. Bastard. Yeah, yeah, most likely. And the funny thing is, yeah, I just I had to since the prompt was he turns into. I had to start with oh, it's a salamander with just a Gromit head, but I, like I couldn't just draw Gromit, and people wouldn't understand that that's supposed to be from you so then people just never continued with the evolution so you are eternally stuck as salamander with grommet head instead of Hold becoming on. full grommet doesn't that mean uh that uh technically speaking rather than a salamander i should be a mud puppy yeah mm. 
and I don't think that will get incorporated in the paleo stream law. Uh, that's no, 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 not even. No. That's Joshua, think... why are you playing Among Us? Joshua, it says here on Discord you're playing Among Us. You're supposed to do your work. <laughs> what is this? I'm taking a break. No, <laughs> Joshua, the whole point why there was no stream today is so you can finish, or no, not finish, or at least keep working on your commission. Taking you know, a break. Getting the fact that you're not that the fact that you haven't even posted room code means you're taking a break with publicans. <laughs> no, I just I... have to uh, the game open. <laughs> Is this uh... like your tabs? Are you just incapable of closing things? If I don't play Among Us, I don't yeah. open it. That is, it pretty much sounds like it, Rick. I mean, to be fair, you can't open don't... multiple thing yeah. games at once. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't open Among Us if I don't plan to actually play it. If I just open it and ha I don't want to run have stuff running in the background. I'm not sure if my laptop could handle that if I just open the game. Oh, Mine can. Yeah, well, now we all or whoever wants to join first has to open the game, so we have to sit there for another oh. two minutes. Hmm. Right, where else? What's that? Yeah, I suppose I that. Uh... TV is also already in. Oh shit, are they? Hmm. Right, well, so it's, uh, peasant three. Hmm. Definitely need to change that. Peasant four. Yeah, it's uh, secure. And, and that's it. Um, Where are my mechanics? And for the other is da, da, da. otters, right? No, oh, that's it. No, don't need that. Hmm. I to... How many of you guys are in Among Us right now? Three. Oh.
my koalas in. Rick, why are you just what? Be why are you just because the whole point why you didn't stream was be did Sunday was because you said you have to work on your commission and now you're like nah opening Roblox after watching Walk with Me, so I don't even know when you stopped working on your commission. I didn't watch it. Ah, okay. Yeah, but you happened to be around for the mammoth episode. Yeah, I was painting and listening. I know the episodes by heart. I don't have to see them. Is that looks a bit big enough? I'm not sure if it is. Hmm. Da -da -da. Oh, I mean, it might do. I'm not too sure. <sighs> I think that central area could be a useful hub space for various things. Uh, let's see. Should we open up for publicans? Joshua, we are not even 10 people in chat. We do have to open up to publicans. That's true. <laughs> oh, no choice. <sighs> I will escape from the curse of Gromit. I did actually at one point. Oh my god, we have Link. Didn't even notice Link and he's pink. <laughs> oh no. No, now he's... Okay, now he's green. <laughs> Are you talking about Rick? Isn't the pink one Come Zelda? On. Oh no, we have a Korean. Oh. Is that no. Korean? No, that's Chinese. That's Chinese. No, 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 it's about the language. Which mm. means if they report them, you can kill in front of the Chinese. They won't be able to tell people what they saw. <laughs> Cat once did that. There was a Korean in the room and yes. she killed someone in front yes. of the Korean. So nobody could. Yeah. So nobody Knowing knew that. that he wouldn't be able to, to tell us. 
Space Muppet used an app to translate it, but he was already yeah. dead, so he wasn't able to tell us. Yeah. Oh no. That is the slimiest thing I've heard people doing among us. Apart from the time oh, where I oh, super effective. Apart from the time where I killed someone while my fellow imposter was there and then reported my fellow imposter. That was scummy as shit. Ah, oh, yes, it happened to me too. Yeah, and to make things worse, that was their first ever time playing Among Us. Great. Uh, I was an absolute jerk that game. Okay. Sing it force at lab. Yeah, yeah. Joshua, I just, how do you know? He reported. No, I, I just saw the report button just before it was reported. Um. Uh, I was walking. Uh, you you remember I came came out of office walking up there. Yeah. Rick, where did you come from? Um, I came from storage. I didn't have a task there, I just wanted to check if there's a body there, because at the start, when the lights turned off, I thought, oh, there could be a body yeah. in storage, because that would be the perfect place. Yeah. Ah, no. Not lab. Office. I'm gonna assume you skipped. Yep. Ah, you have the anonymous votes back on. Yeah, I, I did some some stuff. Good. No. It's, it's not it's not nice to play with uh, non-anonymous votes uh, with publicans. Yeah, especially unhelpful when they drop immediately from the game when you're their fellow imposter. Because it doesn't go their way, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, not even that. Uh, they just dropped straight away. And I was forced to basically go uh, Jason Voorhees on people. Oh, my God. Why is there so many people in there? Okay, T, so I saw that. <laughs> no, T, so no, I did not. Uh, Zach, are you Ash? Because they are orange. Or are you in the game or not? I'm not in the game. No. Ah, okay. So it's just uh, me and TSO and Josh. Well, Josh was corpse. The TSO killed. Hmm. And the rest are publicans. Yeah. What a nightmare. Why am I even quiet? It's just us three. <laughs> I know. Rick, I saw that coming. God damn it. Did you vent into electrical? No, I did not. I walked the nice path and it's okay. It is okay. Okay. Please, Joshua, confirm on or off. Please tell me confirm, sir. I can't remember if I changed it back. Mm. Okay, well, thank you, Joshua. Now they will vote me out.
only if they are smart. Oh, you are right. Oh, I forgot. Nobody is at the button. It's publicans. What do you think? <laughs> do you expect it to be smart? Okay, they fixed it. Why do I even try to finish my task? <laughs> I don't have idea. Nobody's running to the. Ah, I think Orange is probably at the button. No, no, they're not. Orange is going into decorb instead of running to the button. It's pretty weird. Okay, yeah, but 10 seconds. If I get someone in the next 10 seconds. Okay, if, if Orange has a task in specimen, then you lose. Because I will just... 3, 2, 1. <laughs> My partner disconnected. Yeah, and yet you oh, lose. Yeah, confirms that. Wow. Yeah, Tizo, I'm sorry. I had to do it. But that's even funnier that even with confirms on, they still didn't think. Yeah. Oh, they are too embarrassed. <laughs> Like you get the, it starts with either the, the button animation or the yeah, body animation. Yeah, I feel like I they are more know. important. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's for people who don't pay attention. Like yeah, but still, it, it's not like it really helps. Like, uh, uh, yeah, or everybody yeah. is asking where and who and that. Oh, he came back. Why? I mean, he didn't even say anything the last one. Like, he didn't even type anything. Oh, so An Asian server, of course, you will get the one or the other Korean slash Chinese. Yeah. Pretz us. <laughs> I mean, there will be more people next week. No, 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 that's in two weeks. I mean, take it, well, it's in nine days when the new map comes. Yep. Tilly, so we start with 10 people because one or two we lose always. Mm. So now. And disappearance in day. Oh. And <laughs> even for disappearance the in nah. Okay. Ooh. Dwarf caimans are, are going to have eggs. That is good. Eggs. <laughs> Not that guy. Hey, I got Cassiopeia. Uh, 
Uh, as my, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking. As your what? I am the task where you drag the spaceship. I had a perfect W shape. So for A, it's Cassiopeia, the star oh, oh. sign. Oh, Tiri, so that will be very confusing for the rest. That was a wasted sabotage. I'm gonna skip because so far they haven't had any double kills. True. If red, if brown, okay, never mind. I would have said if brown and blue are both alive, and then when the next kill is reported, we've ordered one of them. Uh, I mean, maybe we are. Ah, we are lucky. 
Okay. Yeah, then I feel like blue is really bad because if they were standing, they could have just killed someone. I think the Chinese guy is offline. Oh, oh, they left. I would have <laughs> said Joshua kicked them if they are AFK, but that's also fine. Uh, we did it anyway. Hey, hey guys. Playing with public coons. I, I honestly didn't come to play Among Us because I'm actually kind of pissed off about something. Uh, can you please tell the people in shitposting to shut the fuck up about politics every fucking second? What are they talking about this time? God. To mute the chat because all their like people are arguing about shit all the time. I have all of the channels muted. God, it's so I annoying. I know. I, I, I go to see a meme and it's this, and I'm like, please stop, shut up. I do not care to an extent. Sorry, I've been seeing this a bunch, of, I've seen this like almost every day, and it's been really annoying. It's, it's okay. Your fault for looking at the meme channel. I mean, that's why it's shitposting. I mean, that's the em emphasis on shit, not on shit posts. <laughs> yeah, it's not like shit posting supposed to be funny. This isn't funny. This is just people. People. Oh my god, I don't know. It's like uh, I don't know. I don't. Fuck. I'm just happy that it's know. there and that everywhere, everywhere else. It just annoys me that people are trying to egg each other on constantly, because that's what I'm getting the vibe off of in the, in the oh. uh, actual. Because like I don't know. It's it's really getting on my nerves though because, it's just constant almost now. And I'm sorry that I'm like, jumped in. I just joined to get like complaining about okay. it. But, like it's kind of like unironically making me annoyed. <sighs> so then that how you how you guys doing? <laughs> I'm oh, good. I'm mostly just uh, building a zoo. What about yourself, Cal? Uh, I mean, other than being very annoyed, fine. Mm -hmm. My mind, my mind got blown with 
some lore that I read about something, but I can't really get into it because it's not very appropriate. I think I saw somebody going past me because I was at the, at the at the drill, and I think somebody walked past me also into into the lab, but I don't can't remember the color. Oh. oh, that's unfortunate. That red is named Red Sus. What? <laughs> oh, dear. They knew it what was blue thinking. earlier. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's better. Small kit, get rid of that. And then move that. Nick, I know the problem with the with the annoying politics and, and stuff. I'm but also I'm I'm not really sure what to do about it. Yeah, I know. It's just like I don't know. It's just really like I don't. I, I'm not like affiliated with either side of like the argument. It just they're all annoying. Yeah. <laughs> you have the like. The, there's a bunch of far left, really annoying people in the server right now. There's also some far the right annoying people in the server as well. What sort of far right are we talking about? Not not that bad, but like conservative. A, a level a level to where the far left people will. will well, the far left and the more conservative people will actively har like harass and annoy each other. So, are we talking sort of uh, anti FCW you can... shitlord sort of thing? What? Sorry. I, I, no, no, okay. no, nothing extreme. Just, just. No, it's not extreme. It's just annoying. Yeah, it's it's the stuff where I'm like, oh, why are we even talking about this? Exactly. And I, uh, I. I, sometimes it's, I see that, but I'm like, oh, I, I can't just go in there and uh, tell everybody to, to shut up, so I post some other stuff to... Yeah. <laughs> I told them, I said, you guys are all annoying, please shut the fuck up, and they didn't, so... Yeah. Might say it again. Because I'm still annoyed. If you do that again, tag me so I can say yes to that. Alright. If they're stopping, then... Uh, they might be slowing down a little bit. If they do it again, I will do, I will tag you. Then I'll be like, oh, they're, they're next next calling Yashua on us. Ooh, and I don't know, like a bitch. I mean, that's what the mods are for. Yeah. It's, it's, it's in generally, generally stated in the rules that if there are problems, please notify the... Yeah, yeah. The mods. Don't, don't handle I also want to be like, I would like, Discord mod, bad days, people. Or, you know, silence them. I don't know. Big on creature of shadow. And annoying ass bitches. Ah, yeah, great. Right. Red left the game. Ah. Oh. Out of curiosity, guys, are there any, uh, Video game soundtracks that you really enjoy. Doom Eternal. Many. <laughs> uh, Star Citizen has some very nice tracks. Joshua, video games that are out yet. They have soundtracks already. True. You only asked for the soundtrack, not for the game. Also, Doom Eternal still. And Doom 2016. Hmm. Uh... Yeah, favorite soundtracks. My kind of vibes. I am currently listening to the Dark Souls 2 soundtrack. The DLC, uh, the music from the DLCs in that game is holy shit. It's amazing. I don't remember the soundtrack that well. To Dark Souls. Huh. Dark Souls 2, yeah. I'll link you the OST, Cal. Uh, it is seriously very good. The theme of Sir Alon in particular is amazing. How stupid! 
why why say vote me out and you're not even the why not just leave i mean they did say vote me out and then they did leave yes but they also made us go through all this this waiting for being able to vote and... uh i saw that our pop i mean yeah so that's oh, actually yeah. really funny uh what mean no you're right. the our pop send, meme. You, send you the thing how yeah. The imagine if it was instead of K pop, it was R pop. Oh, yes. Ooh. Yes. All right, nice. Let me, let me pull, pull this out. Especially when you imagine the fangirls. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Purple did almost nothing. Well, at the end, there was a double kill, but before that, we basically only won because people kept disconnecting. Yep. I didn't suss you, mostly because there were no double kills. Now, Joshua, you have to keep in mind, I did the kills and the other one was yeah, a public kill. I, 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 know, but I, I would, would expect, at least from some of these guys, a little bit of competence. They're publicans, what do you expect? You them. They're either... Oh, oh yeah, no. we can move into other token things. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah, we can. I agree.
She's she's in she's a twenty year old in college, so there's not like a huge age gap. Yeah, it would be nice to talk to people in real life. Trust me, you'll get sick of it soon enough. No, I'm an extrovert. I love it. I love talking to people. You say that, but depending on what it is you're doing, you may just end up hating them. Yeah, but like it's a garden shop. It should be fine. I hope. Please. <laughs> Well, as long as you no don't end up with a, well, as long as you don't have a bitchy colleague to deal with, uh, you should be all right. See, I feel like I have a solution. I'll become the more bitchy colleague. <laughs> It'll offset their bitchiness, try to make them better, and then I'll become better at the same time. And boom, perfect. <laughs> if you will not become somebody else, someone else will. I love. I follow Inspirobot on on Instagram, and they like post the random ones sometimes. It's really good. Yeah, I can get that. What the? Oh, I like how this works. Now I just need to build some ropes. Where are we? What the hell? These are even if it's not you. You can't just with public people write fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Oh. <laughs> What the hell? It's not his. Yeah, that's too. Cool. Mm -hmm. Is my job moving at all? I'm doing well. No, you're not. Oh, you are. Oh, yeah, yeah, what? Oh my god, Joshua, you were invisible invisible on my screen, so I thought it goes to the task. So the my screen boom walk out of light, disappeared, then I walk in and I see that the button is pressed even though there's nobody. Oh, lag is a beautiful thing. Yeah, except when it's horrible. Could be White O who is scrambling for. No, White. Uh, it appears on White was at White is a lot of time. What True, you I saw that on 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 cam. Remember if we have one now. I don't know. Yeah, I have, to, I have to check right now. Yeah, we yes, had. we had. We had both. Right. I know this does not help. I could see that I might be able to see when somebody kills. 
det her på film op 4 Det kan jeg ikke have What is this? You know the rapper the baby? Never heard of him. Okay, you should not get this joke. Grind me. I saw some of you. It's cursed. Y'all don't, don't know if you two and the baby to do this joke. Okay, it's horrible. Slime and People going like, oh, can't you? Oh, two people left. Zach, you're streaming Discord, by the way. Ah, uh, Jack, not again. Just, I'm just looking at the baby picture. <laughs> yeah, it sometimes does that for me for some bizarre reason. I can hear the animals, though. Why would you leave if you're not imposter? Uh. Cause they're really stupid. Hmm. Alternatively, I might just have to do this.
Still Discord, by the way. Yeah, I'm uh, just adjusting yeah. something so that my koalas won't be listed as having escaped despite not having actually set foot outside the exhibit. this work. Joshua, did you vote right? Yep. Okay, good. Good job, Joshua. Good job. Well, I had no yeah, I could have known that it was you. <laughs> no. The fact is, since we are the only people in chat in free, we could have... Now, okay, well, I had to convince you. If I had somehow managed to convince the publicans, I could have even boasted in front of you that I actually killed. Oh. Hmm. Oh, what's, what's thanks, man? Oh, he's also playing... What are you playing? What is this? <gasps> Whoa! Pre-store kingdom! How did you even? How do you even get the alpha? I don't even know how you, people got the alpha. Are you uh, sure you just got steamed it? You had to like uh, pre-purchase it, and it was a specific tier that gave you the pre-alpha. Uh, yeah, doing it on a Cryptivo shop uh, specifically, or uh, being an alpha tier um, backer. Alpha predator. Zach. Last round for me. People are crying about the fact that uh, that you can't do visual tasks. Oh no! Poor baby. <laughs> Trying to give the koalas a little haps. And we lost me. Joshua, you're on your own. I, I, I keep forgetting. Joshua, you're the only one talking. It's like, forgetting. <laughs> Wait, outside electric. Monkey on fire. <laughs> oh, you have to be some prehistoric primate that, like, got its own butt on fire. Yes, like a forest fire. Let's see, so cool. 
she is a so good luck. You are alone. She is a hoosie, but I mean, you can't type it, but. <laughs> Just type it behind this. Oh, cool, you even typed that signature. Mm -hmm. Tim and Cyan Batman. And pink is. No, orange is blaming lime. So, good job, you're going to vote on one of the two, and if you don't. Ah, uh, somebody left, no, that was that person. Yeah, he was already. Uh, gone reduced to ashes. Oh, that's. <laughs> Need to shorten discussion time? Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, Joshua, see, that's the problem. They don't see it as old, less uh, time to, until they just vote somebody and they see it just as an annoyance, so they leave. Yeah, these guys are not used to an actual discussion. They're not professionals, they need to vote. No. They are just in for the quick kill. Not, uh, and she is a one. Yeah. Lip, um, well done. I mean, one person left, otherwise, they would have still needed to get a kill now. Wow, um, the, the, the person that was a teaser didn't do a single kill. Whoa! Because people just kept disconnecting. What's in there? Uh, this thing is building. Uh, what's in what, Cal? What's what's in the uh, little enclosure you have? The big enclosure you have right now. This Let's big go, one? teaser. Okay, so yeah. The one that, yeah. Um, Is this it you one... and Chile so together? Yeah, uh, it's us two public and, uh, <laughs> what do you want to call it? Uh, Pronghorns, that's the name. Oh, cool. Yasha, would you say that these uh, exhibits are sizable enough for the animal? Yeah, size, size seems to fit. Let me see, I will decide that. What is it for, thing? So, uh... This one is for Montessori Coupe and Nexus, and uh, these two are Tarbosaurs. Oh. I like how the, the giant river and one of them is just an exclamation point. So here we have one cab and this one. You can work um, much more with um, undergrowth and um, terrain painting. I know. Just uh, kind of keep them so it looks nice, but uh, definitely I've got some more shrubs here. Oh, I like how you um, build up the landscape there with terraform. When, when it goes into um, uh, into early access, we will probably have some streams where where I um, draw uh, ideas for for exhibits, and you guys can build them. Nice. That wood is always good. I mean, if nobody picks the slides. Okay, Tisa, but now I will stop because we won't want be asked to again and kind of wanted because half of the people disconnected. Can't wait for the seamless ontogeny in PK. Oh, the, 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 it was amazing in the demo. I can't wait for 
to see what yeah. they have with the new models yeah. and everything. I, I, I wonder how quickly they will grow. That's a good question, because some of these animals did grow slowly while the others just accelerated their growth. Yeah. That will be interesting. I was already saying, you know, when, when Velociraptor comes, you, we should use uh, the bamboo to make uh, long grass. <laughs> <laughs> Just fill it up with bamboo, some, some small clearings in the exhibit, and, and maybe a platform so you can look from above. And, and just sometimes they come into into uh, out of, of out of the thicket. Now oh, the cassowaries have their food now. Also turn these dead trees around and make them um, like roots coming out of the sides there. Oh, that, that's a good idea. There was a tree growing inside the rock. definitely get it when, uh, what do you say, it fully comes out. Oh. As of right now, I have other things, such as, well, this to indulge in. Yo, the cassowary! Woo! Yep. I can't run. I can't run either Planet and Zoo or Prehistoric Kingdom on computer anyway, so it's pointless. But yeah. Wait, are the tree ferns like part of a biome that isn't in yet, or are they just? 
Yeah, yeah, there, there are um, uh, some some plans in the modular piece section that are not yet in uh, in the brushed um, terrain to yeah, Also, placing these um, on their own actually um, goes more on your FPS. Anyone reading any books at the moment? Um, no. Nothing very interesting. The only two things I'm reading right now is, uh, I mean, not really reading, but like just staring at, is a uh, human anatomy text coloring book, and a, I've been reading a herpetology textbook a little bit. Hmm. I'm reading, or trying to read two things. One is the sequel to Children of Time, the book that brought us the burning monkeys and yes that was the original book which in my inept attempt at describing it created the burning monkeys meme dub what w w i'm not sure i follow <laughs> W as in win. That's what. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, these young people today and their memes. Like I could say dub W L. -L, 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 -L. I hate that. I hate that so much. This L in the dub. L L L. Hey, can you, can you take this for me real quick? Can you take this L for me real quick? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That explains uh, a lot. Until this point, I had no idea what people are on about when they type L or W in. Yeah. Yeah, W is win, L is lose, obviously. And then F is paper stars. That's so stupid, I can't. Yeah. How? It just simplified. Maybe you're just stupid. Oh, got him. Got him. It's the got him. Okay, fam. I, I think only old. we're the same only, age. I think only three of us um, have the right to say kids these days, and that's me, Rick, and Joshua. Yeah, because we're all in our mid late twenties. I mean, here are some people that are literally not even old enough to be allowed to drink alcohol. I mean, oh, I, I used to be able. I used to be legal, legal Yeah, but too. then you, Benjamin Button. Backwards, so now you are no longer legal to drink alcohol. <laughs> you downgraded. Have you have you regressed, uh, Cal? I mean, that I'm was not Ken, happy. That's not a Caro. <laughs> what? That's not a Caro. Fuck! I said I thought I said Cal. <laughs> it sounded like a Caro. Maybe you just said it fast. I don't know. Yeah, no, I feel like Maybe I regret. Regress? I don't know in what way you mean regress. I mean, I'm not happy that I can't drink anymore. What do you mean anymore? Uh, I mean, I'm more socially regressed now because I don't have any friends. You. Okay, <laughs> that sounded way creepier than it ought to. <laughs> you have no friends. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have friends. 
imagine having no friends? <laughs> I only have online friends now. So all my Germany friends became online friends. That sounds like a downgrade. Going from from like per friend in person to yeah, online friends. Yeah, it is. It is, but I can't see them in person anymore. It makes me sad. And everyone over here is kind of like, meh. Everyone's like really into their own clicks and they're kind of boring and either boring or annoying. Like. Thanks, something that I would do, I, I, I sketched that um, earlier today. Have a, have a hill covered with these, these low bushes and then have some um, just at, at the top and on the slopes uh, sometimes um, uh, these, these white rocks poking out like eroding limestone cliffs. I, I, I wouldn't do it directly in that vicinity because you already have the, the other uh, all the other rocks there. But if you have somewhere else a, a hill that has no rocks yet. Maybe maybe we could try it with one of the other exhibits because I'm planning to uh, Oh yeah, to I mean you have there. only three in here. Yeah, because I'm planning to do an exhibit for Gannis and the Nectis. Oh yeah. And then plus the Staracolis with the lab of Tyrannus exhibits and actually find of those. How many dancers were in the uh, alpha? Uh, six. Six, uh, but it's nine if we include them with the, some of the skins which count the separate species. Yeah. Or even genera, because one of the Tyrannosaurus skins is the target. Yeah. yeah, that is right. So there's. T-Rex, aka uh, Tarbosaurus, Edmontosaurus, Lambeosaurus, um, Styracosaurus, and the Oh yeah, and um, Micro. Right. Micro Raptor to show the mini exhibit. Oh, I'm going on. Oh my god, this is awesome. The Arctic, look at this cow. Huh? Oh. oh. I'm just my watch right now, I don't even know. Watch this. Whoa! That big shelter made out of ice. The bear, the bear zone! Oh! South America shelter is a goddamn temple, I love it. Completely lamas, because of course. Um, but of course, I can't do that. There's a lot of Can't wait for all the water effects they Ooh, oh, that's good. There's no Yeah, I'm like, like waterfalls and stuff. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I don't know, I have like two different types of, like, me. Either, like, in these types of games, either, like, I will take, like, three hours making the perfect environment ever, or I want Wait. money to, like, make something really shitty really quick and drop stuff in there. By spending it, you, you have a constant flow God. of it. And some of this reindeer. Oh. I think I've killed it. Yeah. Now look. It's all right here. I mean, yeah, the nice thing about, um, the, 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 for example, the, the foliage rocks, <laughs> you can build up landscapes very quickly. And they... That's going to be good for making references for art. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Have you seen some of the screen Nope. This game is basically screenshot based. Yeah, because there's, there's also a photo mode. This is the first time actually I've seen like anything at all of gameplay of the game thing, was not thing. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm uh, loading up the screenshots that AD took and that I edited a little. Okay, I saw that one, that was amazing. Well, the neck of this, whoa, what's that, ne what that neck do? Bring up reindeer. It's like neck weird in this? What's going on with its neck? It's like broken. <sighs> Did it. Oh, that's such a cool composition though. God. 
and it basically gives you it freaking gives you what the sh- like the reflection on the water should look like oh yep oh I know. And then you can literally just put any sort of in, in there and be like okay yeah. that oh shit I don't mind just how to keep going yeah. Hi, hi doll. Where are you? Where are my doll's people going? Oh, they're all huddled in here. Are there, are there more types of marsh plants that you can use thing? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. So, have, uh, hold on. have these. Oh, oh, I love those. I forgot what those are called. Oh, I like those. Some, some papyrus. Yeah. Yes! 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 Yes, they also swamp cypresses. Oh. You know, I've always under. I think I might visit the bald cypress um, forest one day. I live actually relatively close to them. I'm only a few hours away. I would love to see some of the oldest trees in America. They actually are part of the reason why we might know why the Roanoke colony failed probably because there was, during the years of the, during the years of when the Roanoke colony came, there was a very big drought, as shown by um, many bald cypress trees, um, annual ring growths. So the reason they might have, like all died out is because of a very bad drought. Oh dear. Oh, that looks so nice. What's this? Is this also for Tarbo or? Oh, no, no, this is just the outside of the exhibit, just sprucing up the river. Oh, you're... Oh, it's his own thing. Oh, damn. You can so make people. the... I, I would make the, the reeds even denser. Just go several times over the same... Just go, like, absolutely nuts with it. Yeah. The good goal is so many people. Jeez. You're not even social distancing. It's a pandemic. <laughs> Yeah, it was already asking, where is the, the social distancing mode for this game? <laughs> where are the masks? Would actually be funny if in the campaign you, you have to manage the, the park suddenly because the pandemic breaks out and you can't, can only take that many visitors. Masks are all lockdown skeptics here. COVID is Yes. That's working better. Mm. Can, can I can make this the case? sides of the brush a little bit smaller? So it's I also know draw my therapist. If I ever draw a therapist, I draw the, the toe, like the ungles and stuff with like the, or like the claw, the toe claws with the uh, like kind of worn, really worn down thing. Claws. Yeah, blunt, blunt claws. Yeah. So it's so pl- it's way more pleasing than sharp feet for me. Yeah. I just need to figure out what to do with the rest of this. That's a, that's a nice detail that uh, somebody showed just earlier in chat on on the Tyrannosaurus here. The the main claws are, are blunt, but the little um, hallux claws actually sharp. Yeah. And when I noticed that, I was like, wow, that's an incredible piece of I'm gonna use it. So probably gonna stop drawing uh, therapod feet like that from now on. Yeah. Oh, I still need to figure out what to do with this composition. I have this like running running center after but I don't know what else to put in there. Maybe it's chasing a ring source or something. Maybe it's chasing something that's and it's trying to play. I kind of, I don't know. There's like one idea I had, but I don't know if I, I, the composition I have right now will work. Because I just want like a Mementosaurus just being like not happy with it nearby. Look at all the leaves. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Also, this is like the best air puff which I've ever done in my life, so this makes me happy. Yeah. 
I didn't post it yesterday. I posted it yesterday, I'll post it again since you I'm super I'm so happy with it. <laughs> Jack is so already built a mono <laughs> Of course. Oh, you can build a mono rail? No, 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 it's not in the game, but you just make it fake when you look into uh, Epic Gaming Madness. <laughs> anyway. Of course. <laughs> 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 That's incredible. And I love how, like, you have, like, some simple, simple kind of builds that, like, are interesting, like, kind of your typical kind of exhibit. And then things like mine, which are a bit more complex, and then you have things like this. Which is just incredible. Oh, somebody actually built um, the, the scene from Lost, the Lost World, World Jurassic World. Park. Yeah. Yeah, with the with the trailers over the cliff. Yeah, Just yeah. listen to very limited um, pieces here. I, I remember the the Twitter account for prehistoric and they commented how, and then someone has just said that oh, well, that's what happens when you give people modular buildings. Yeah, yeah. Just look at the um, the thumbnail. It's. <laughs> Yeah. There Sorry. are no, no vehicles yet in the game whatsoever. Not even something that, that is remotely looking like a wheel. And yet someone created that. Yeah. Ah, uh, Oh, hi, James. Hey. Hey, James. I saw the stream going. Oh, cool. James, that screw you uh, with regards to Twitter. <laughs> What has he done? You'll see what he's done. You'll see. Uh, oh, I will check my Twitter.com and see what happened. Whoa! Thing. I gotta say, Zach, the photo you chose of Gromit was the um, the rolling pit. That's that's you. That's literally um, just you. That is me on a bad day. That is, that that gives like I got major Zach energy from that screenshot. You haven't even seen me. <laughs> You don't know what I look like. Is that the one with the dinosaur hat on? Probably. Either way, going off with your voice alone, that just that screenshot that just takes that energy to me. Off my voice alone. What is it about it? I don't know. That was right. No, it didn't. Besides what my scene is now, because I did the crab. Oh, did you? Alright, fine. Nine seconds ago, I did. Hmm, I wonder what I could make a cow do. Hmm, okay. Something inappropriate, please. Yeah, Maybe drinking, because he can't do it. <laughs> 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 Have you checked Twitter yet, Joshua? I was on Twitter, but I haven't seen anything. Or is it? Wait. Something I specifically posted. Definitely look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like that, um, uh, you know, there's that famous uh, Japanese woman who uh, organizes things. Yeah. Uh, basically, I'm having this, it's that whole, uh, this does not spark joy for me. <laughs> I suspect for some others it does indeed spark joy. It, it sparks great joy. I'm so happy I figured out what that picture from Google was. What was it? I was so... I was looking... There was a picture on Google of Sicilian, but I never could figure out which one it was. Then uh, yesterday, the day before, I figured out it was um, Skeletal Morphous Tatatus, and I was like, finally. Hmm. Closure. 
closure in my life. Nice. The picture must have like it might be edited. It must be edited because I'll send I'll send a picture that I didn't know what it was. Hmm. Because the and then I'll show you what the oh, yeah. and, uh, and the is. Shit! Oh my god! What? How? How? How brainless can you see? Oh! Oh yeah, I saw those. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What are you speaking of? Look at the little video. Yeah, watch the video. Well, this, uh, yeah. Like Darren Lake. Is like, that a real kid? Not you. Yes! I saw yes, that. I hate him. Fucking Darwin Award winner right there. Why? Welcome to California. Oh, oh, why did he do it? For a picture? For a picture, probably. Given that I he was just... I really hope... Yeah, I hope they, they take the, the charge away from him. Posted it under um, Darren May, which is the that Dad tries to um, go into elephant clothes and such a baby. The elephant wore the Shen clothes. The only reason you're still alive is because of your stupidity. Mild. Well, that oh, I see this. Is like, uh, or grab the perfect opportunity. I, I just can't. I cannot believe that. that I can. I know it works. Kind of strolls over and he's like, Clear off! Oh, yeah, that's and The elephant awesome. wasn't gonna like, the elephant was like, Hey, out. Please. It was in it, piss off. I don't want you here, mood. Yeah. It wasn't in it, I'm going to kill you, uh, mood. Yeah, it's the same for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it could have just keep running and would got that guy. Certainly. And nothing of value oh, would have been lost. Well, except maybe the baby, but... I mean, he could have uh, reached that through the through the fence. No, no, what uh, should have happened is the elephant should have stamped all over him and then picked up the baby and then passed it through the barriers to someone, saying, here, you take this. This is someone else's responsibility now. Now, the problem if 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 the elephant had killed him, they probably would have euthanized that elephant. Yeah, probably. So Stupid. But, but a big fat kick in the ass would have been nice. Mm. <laughs> what I'm thinking now is the bird around This is the Chad elephant. What? Bowling Gorilla Titan is endangered? What the fuck? What is endangered? Bowling Gorilla uh, Titana, which is the Taita African Sicilian. I did not know this is such a pretty coloration, and no. Oh shit, no. Oh this is how fuck. I, how I felt when I found out that scalloped hammerheads Ooh. are critically endangered. I yeah. mean, I oh, know dear. that like probably at least three species of ichthyophis are probably already extinct by now, because they were found one time in like nineteen, like nine, like mid to early nineteen hundreds, and they've never been seen or documented again. Hmm. So I'm assuming they're either extinct. Or they're just very, 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 very elusive, which is a Sicilian thing. But the problem is, like, one of them, like, is on Sri Lanka, so it's, like, not much area to be elusive on. And mm. another one's from, like, another smaller area in, I think, Singapore. So, it's hard to hide in Singapore when it's so small. Most of your area is, like, city. And don't you? What? Um, no, sorry, I'm referring to this, to an enormous exhibit I have. Oh, wait, uh, no, there there are two keepers here in this. Okay. God, I don't know which stream to watch. Mm. Okay, watch this cow. Watch as these animals, which haven't dr had a drink in ages, in months, suddenly albino have pronghorn? the facility available. Yep, I have an albino pronghorn. Oh my god, that's a giant pronghorn. <laughs> or are those bison just really small? These are some of them are quite small and they're all female, so uh, although I will say this pronghorn is an absolute chad. 
Right, has he produced many offspring? He's not. He has sired a few, but they have yet to be born. Hmm. Oh shit, nope, fuck. What happened? One of my kangaroos is about to... Uh, um... Is about to go Alabama on... Oh no. Why is that fence so broken? That... It's gone sickle mode. See, I love uh, seeing Zach notice something going on. It's going... <laughs> That's a, that's a definite mood, right there. <laughs> okay, thank goodness. Sheep left at this rate. Three young females, which is good. Bigger. I can do more simple composition. I think I will draw the Sinatra <laughs> Stingray, a bunch of Lemosaurus, or something like something something similar. I just don't know. Ah, oh, there's a Lemosaurus though. Oh boy. Are amorous. Look, he even has pink eyes. Oh dear. I had a situation where that she died in her sleep, but it hasn't fully registered that she's dead. So mm. the result is the corpse is just rotting. On the floor. Oh, oh fantastic. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, hey. I like my zoos to knock it, not acknowledge that the animals are dead until they're just skin and bones. Oh, boy. Do you guys know which uh, skeletal Lemosaurus is the best one? Because um... I know a lot of them are pretty bad. That terrain reminded me a lot of that that place in Tenerife, where they filmed like on location for like Land of Giants and Permian and Primeval. That is some nice looking terrain. I just realized, well, a ton of Sicilians in the genus Ichthyophis uh, have like Indoraptor coloration, almost. Huh. Huh. Because they're like brown. They're either brown brown black they're brownie black a lot of them and they have a like yellow stripe going through the body 
I was about to ask which which interactor, the dinosaur one or the dragon? The the dinosaur. Okay. The dinosaur. dinosaur being the operative word. Yeah, dinosaur in quotation marks. Yeah. Or no, quotation marks? I don't know. Dinosaur? More like dinosaur. dinosaur. Suck. I mean, it did kind of, but if it, it had potential to be good and interesting. It did like, have in one scene, one deleted scene where like it's showing like people like uh, abusing it and then like smiling and laughing, which explains why it, like uh, smiled when it uh, bit off the arm of that one dude. Huh? Because he was like mimicking that behavior, but we never get to see any of that, or or how the animals were actually suffering on the island because well, they didn't use that footage and it doesn't seem like they want to release any of it. So yeah, way to go uh, making us actually uh, care about the animals universal. Yeah, so much ending up getting cut that would have made it more interesting in favor. Oh yeah, there's like uh, three hours Whatever. of the film straight up cut. We need, we need the Snyder, Snyder cut of... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Release the Fallen Kingdom cut. <laughs> Release the Dilophosaur cut. Whoa! I wonder if pterosaurs could move their head back that far. Alpha. Do we have any good papers on the range of motion of like the bendability of a pterosaur's head? Uh... Like, could it preen itself? I hmm. think. Maybe? I'm not sure. Sassy would probably know. Yeah. Yeah. Sassy or James? True. I'll have a look. Tell you what, I'll have a look. Yeah, that'd be nice. Thank you. When in doubt, have a look. That's my philosophy for ages. Right. Uh, trying to type a word where both the P key and the T key don't work. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. I put a neck mobility. There we go. Forgetting that. It's like a morphous, just a metapom. It's a difference. Oh, yeah, because there's that paper on um, posture and locomotion of pterosaurs. Maybe it would be in there. One thing I always remember from that paper is that... Oh, hang on, what's the thing gone? One thing I always remember from that paper is the conclusion that um, Anhanguera and the like mm. uh, don't always held their neck when on the ground at like a 45 degree angle. It's on Google. <laughs> it's, a, it's one of those. So I think we're going to be able to get a good look at that. Hang on. Might have it saved on from when I was doing the masters. Might be able to get a good look at it there. Aha. A legendary USB.
through the papers on here. Oh, come on, curse has gone. There we go. Looking through the papers on here, I just I was reminded of one of my favourite um, one of my favourite paper titles. If I can hmm. find it again. Oh bugger, that's a that's a big document. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Quote and I quote: "Catastrophic failure in a pterosaur skull." from the Cretaceous Satan formation of Brazil. Oh. Catastrophic failure. Oh my. Uh, this was 2008. This was Martell and Witten. Hmm. And I th if I remember correctly, it was... Yeah. It was a Tipuxuara specimen. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. The partial skull of Tipexuara that appeared to have suffered some sort of violent trauma to the skull. Oh gosh, I wonder what happened. What, do, do we have any idea what happened to it? Did, like crash uh, into something? The suggestion was that. Let me have a. If I'm looking through this properly. Um, well, they didn't know the specific cause, but it would be, but it was consistent with some sort of single high energy impact occurring at oh, the tip gosh. of the jaw. So it could well be that this thing fell out of the sky and landed face first on the ground. Ooh. Oof. Yikes. Yeah. Let's have a look at the discussion. Mm, it only looks like a young Tibuxuara as well, based on the um, the crest anatomy. Maybe something knocked it out of the sky. Hmm, could well be. Maybe it fell. Maybe it flew into something by accident. Well, would it have flown into a tree, perhaps, or could be another pterosaur, maybe? That's what I was wondering. Damage. Who knows, maybe windows existed in the Cretaceous and it flew straight into Ooh. them. This must, it's time travel work, clearly. Yeah. Of course. It came through an anomaly. Someone came through an anomaly, built a, built a skyscraper in the Cretaceous, and then they left there. Right, okay. Ah, they consider three possible causes. Direct consequence of the behaviour, activities of other animals, and just destructive effects of the environment. Well, that's it's, uh, quite broad. If it was, if it did result from the behaviour of this pterosaur, then it really would be a catastrophic failure, would? Hmm. Oh god, you can tell this paper is old because they're burning up a skim feeding possibility. Only in passing, though. Hmm. Oh, they bring up the possibility that it may have been damaged during transportation. As in, after it died. Oh. That's not no. fun, though. That's boring. Mm -hmm. Oh, hang on, my hang on. Paleo head cannon. It's not like that. The specimen lacked the abrasion that would be expected from that. So it's it's not the most likely. It's just on the cards. It has all the makings of a single catastrophic event. <laughs> hmm. Oh good, one last thing to worry about. Australia theme is almost done too. I think I might be done. With these two exhibits. I 
just have a look to the picture. Throats are getting really dry with them. Here we go. It's almost hmm. strong. And it's nothing serious. Mm. Nah, I think it's just that I need to drink more. Oh. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. This, this is interesting. The telescopic of the jaw tips. The telesco the telescoping, sorry. The telescoping of the jaw tips and the fragmentation of the mandible is consistent with the trauma seen in birds after they fly into windows. Hmm. So it's like it flew head on into something hard. Yeah, it could very well have flew flown head first into something and just died instantly. Okay, Tarbosaurus exhibits are finished. Alright, now let people in there to walk to pet the Tarbosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Tarbo looks very popular at the moment. I, I don't blame him, to be honest. It's nice to have Tarbosaurus available. The, the interesting thing is that these two, aside from having the more yellowish color, the male and the female are about the same size, while in the ones over in this exhibit, the, fe uh, the female is actually larger than the female in that one. While the are male those is smaller. Tarbosaurus as well, or are they uh, Tyrannosaurus? Tarbosaurus. Oh. So there's some yeah. individual variation going on. That's oh yeah, there's there's cool. there's some insane variation going on in the game with Tyrannosaurus. Although let me pull up a picture that uh, a friend showed me. Uh... Where is it? Ah, found it. And if it would load kindly, there we go. Dwarf sits in sheer size. That is very big. And uh, here's uh, the tarbos that I have all next to each other. I think I might have to step off in a little bit. I might step off right now, I'm kind of tired. Yeah, Same. It's a... It's a Shattered. It's a late. Yeah, I'll see you guys some other time. <clears throat> yeah, catch you guys later, I just want to do this one little thing. Which, uh, which dinosaur should I do next, by the way? Nazuto? Staraco, Lambio, Anectens, Regalis. Uh, which one of those? I'm gonna, cause I'm gonna leave the Tyrannosaur for last. Nazuto. Nazuto it is. Thinking, uh, let's see, what is its preferred habitat? Uh, it is wetlands and tropical, so, okay, I can, I can try something nice for that. Alright. See you guys. So yeah. long.
not myself. Uh, see you guys. Ah, uh, see ya. See you back. Okay, and. Night, everyone. Oh, good morning, depending on where you're in the world. What bit about it? <laughs> depending on what time it is. True. Anyways, good night. Night. See ya. Yeah. Yeah. See ya, James. Night, guys. Oh. Tear up. And then, hey, hey. like my fluffy eagle. And what was it? I there was an officer who came around the corner, and he was like, "You're gonna die!" Ramp takes out his sword, swings at me. I don't know how he missed. I hit him. He must have been wounded. He died. And then I ran around the front, and I bayoneted the flag carrier before I went down. That's probably the most contribution I did in that whole match. That's awesome. Australian Eagle. I, I'm guessing that bird is either wanting or getting a bat in that picture of Sydney. Be a 
a very might be a nice warm spot on your leg if that was sitting there. Yeah, it's a female cockatiel. I have a really cute little picture that made me smile. Here you go. Look at that cute little owl. You just want to reach here and just give her rub on its, its nose. Oh, absolutely. Without a question. There, without. Off half your finger. But it'd be worth it if right. Yeah. Fingers can be reattached, right? By the way, I don't know if you heard, uh, they did a study recently, and they found that certain birds, uh, can actually sleep while they're flying. Is that the long distance? I think geese can do it, I think? It's an, yeah, it's an autonomic, uh, motion, apparently. But they can shut off half their brain. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Apparently, they put a, uh, I forget what the bird is called. Um, but it's a bird with a giant red throat pouch. Uh, a frigate bird. Yeah. Uh, it says, Male frigate birds, easily recognizable by red gular pouches, uh, will inflate in breeding season to attract females. These birds feed predominantly on fish, and squid chase to the surface by bigger fish such as tuna. However, it has been now found through subcranial implants that apparently... These birds, especially males, can inflate their throat pouch while flying, increasing their buoyancy, and shut their entire brain off for a period of approximately 30 to 45 seconds, mimicking a micro-sleep, which includes approximately 5 seconds of REM sleep. There you go. It's too bad they're rare and they're awesome birds, Nick, because this would make, like, the best target for musketry for flying. Not until it poops on you. Yeah, but the, there, there's a picture of said bird. Did you hear that uh, Wiccan's Wicked Reptiles uh, did a chat? Uh, or it's going to be live in two days on March 24th, and they're having a giveaway. So, it says, we're getting close to a huge milestone. Let's give away some stuff to celebrate. Also, what have you been sending me? It's, it's like you send this tiny little wood. Uh, cylinder. It's like, what is this? It's like, it's a lizard dildo. But it's got two prongs. Mm -hmm. There's the pong. Ha <laughs> ha, I see what you did there. Let's see, what, what, what did I mean? Gonna look 
Yeah, did you see the pictures? Oh, um... Let's, let me find the email. If you're able to boot your email, it would uh, likely go faster, but I could try to... Up you know what? I need to save the pictures anyway. So, let me just... No, yes, for my shoot on Friday. Oh, okay. I thought you might want to have a bigger look, but that's okay. I still have pictures of our shoots going back all the way to, uh... Ooh. Back when we were still in, uh... Early days of college, Nick. Yeah, when we were young. That's stupid. Uh, we haven't improved much. Don't kid yourself. Yeah, there's a couple more wrinkles now. Yeah, I'm senile, and... Yeah, I can't stay up to four in the morning anymore. <sighs> Well, uh, let's, uh, let's have a look-see here. What can I find? Ch -ch 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 -ch. Oh. Okay, so you, uh, as soon as I get these, Nick, did you want to, uh... Oh, I'm gonna forward you an email here, sorry. Did you want to play Stellaris after? I've got, uh... You know how some guys are just super lucky? Well... Uh, my buddy Peter Barbier, uh, he ended up getting himself an original Confederate Mark Wesley Richards rifle that was wrongly identified on Elwood Epps for $695. Yeah, one of the very few. So, I'll send that to you. Just let me know. That's why I sent the wrong emails. <sighs> How are you doing, honey? What are you doing? Oh, okay. Good. from staring at the screen. Damn. Well, don't. Oh, I'll just beware of the small fluffy. Don't you hate it when you go to click rename and instead it clicks delete? Yeah, that's 
what happened. But here, just just so you guys can actually see, he did uh, he did an ultra slow motion and managed to grab. Uh... Oh, beware of the small fluffy one. That's cute. But I thought I would uh, share with you guys the um, full ignition and fire on a brown bass in in the slow motion. It's actually really cool. In. Uh... There you go. I'll be right back. Okay. I'll boot Stellaris, I guess. Did you want to play, honey? Oh, you said you wanted to. Yeah, okay. Here. Here you go, honey. On Discord. Thanks for being there for me.
Well, it was Elizabeth who posted that. The sweatpants and coffee. I actually heard about something very interesting. It's a, uh, it's a special kind of pressure point, uh, energy adjuster, basically, by a company called Apollo Neuroscience. And I thought you might find it interesting. Here, have a look. And basic, it, apparently, I've heard good things about them. I've seen them a few times, and this is the first time I've seen a direct link to their company, so... Yeah, Apollo is the first technology proven to improve heart rate variability. In minutes, Apollo works with your sense of touch to change how you feel, and effectively trains your body's resilience to stress without drugs. And it was created by Dr. Joseph C. Maroon, MD, FACS. And by Amy Edgar, APRN, CRPNP, FNPC. Hi, I'm Tosk. I'm sure you are. Interesting. I just watched the little video that they had there that's like two minutes long. Very interesting. Apparently what it uses is it uses a special kind of set of vibrations um, to basically tell your body that you're actually safe and it cancels out your fight or flight response. Yeah, developed by physicians and neuroscientists, Apollo is a wearable wellness device that uses gentle vibration to help your body recover from stress. Its scientifically proven technology improves heart rate variability, a key biometric of stress, so you can feel calm, balanced, and perform at your best. Chronic stress triggers the symptomatic fight or flight branch of our nervous system and impairs our ability to recover. Through our natural response to touch, Apollo activates your parasympathetic rest and digest response and restores balance. It does not track your biometrics, but actively improves them. Trials in both lab and real-world studies have now repeatedly shown that Apollo improves the body's resilience to stress and HRV in merely minutes. 
and that repeated use will actually increase your focus. Uh, the 21st century, when the world controlled its people through the use of drugs. Ah, better! Oh wow, and it's not that uh, expensive either. It's uh, only 349. Like 349, but no. But it actually comes with an app that uh, lets you um, specify the kinds of energetic waves you want, and you can actually wear it on your ankle. And I was thinking it might be good for you for uh, for sleep. That we could get one and both try it. The last uh, mention was, uh, this band has been a serious tool in my toolkit in lockdown. I wear it primarily to stay calm and to sleep as I have a very busy mind due to being autistic. It works. Samantha J, Ontario, Canada. I'll send you the link so you can have a quick look. Nick, did you want me to... Uh, I'll boot up the Stellaris if you're interested. Sure. Won't be able to stay on super late, but I'll be able to I'll stay on... Under, I gotta be at the hospital for my CT scan at 7.45. So. Wait a minute. CT scan? What's wrong? Oh, I told you that earlier. I had to go in for a CT scan... And they'll decide if uh, surgery is required on my kidneys or not. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. Okay, I instantly associated a CT scan with cranial. I apologize. I forget I forget that they use no, magnetic it's a retina. Renal CT scan is essentially what it is, but it's a full body scanner. So they stick you in that little CT thing and they run you through and it's okay. a couple of times and you get bombarded with radiation. Yay! I get to become a super mutant. You're gonna be Dr. Banner! Or, or, I pull that scene from Total Recall and totally freak out in the CT scan room. Oh my god. You my cover! I, I was going to say, you you have to do that. You have to be the CT scanner and right near the end when the nurse comes on and sees how you are, you just go, You blew my cover! I mean, a lot of these nurses are either really old or some of them are really young, so. 50-50 chance? Probably 25% chance they'll do it. Well, if they, if they don't, then you'll just be like, oh. I, If I, if I uh, fail flying, I'm definitely considering going into healthcare, because damn, there are a lot of cute nurses out there. Ah, it's not hard to go into healthcare, especially with the screaming demand they need. We were just reading an article in the Toronto paper about how a whole bunch of basically immigrants who... Well, they're not even immigrants. They're refugees with virtually no papers. They're actually working in care homes and stuff like that. They're the only ones they can find to go in there. Yep. Look, I would never go into a care home as a care home worker. Like, uh, one of my work colleagues used to work in there. And, yeah, it's not pretty. Like, do you, you think you get paid well and everything? No. No wage, no benefits. You're a contract worker, so they can let you go at any moment. And you have long hours, and you're dealing with people that have a lot of issues, and you actually have, uh, what they say, you have time limits. So, sir, you have only so many minutes with a patient or a person, and you have yep. to an extra because you have to get it done. And yep. some of them are, they have issues, mobility issues, they're swearing, they, you know. Oh, yeah. And it's like, well, I can't, you, you soiled yourself in your bed. I only have two minutes in this room with you, so you're going to be in the bed for the rest of the day. Which is one of the reasons why they're getting rid of At Profit in Ontario, because of how bad it's been with COVID and how many people died. Oh yeah, they I had... refuse to go into an old, like, if I get old, no one's putting me in old age home. Like, I refuse. Oh, don't worry, Nick, we'll take care of you. Just and then, pillow, you know, you know, you know, just put a soft, fluffy pillow over my face. <laughs> no, no, I, I would build you a little boat and float you out onto the water. And then you'd be like, I hate water. I can't swim. I'm like, it's okay. Well, just... gonna... How should we put him out? Well, I don't have a pillow, but I got this chicken. Now I just put, put it on his, his face. 
his head. Be good. What's up, Kato? Yes, yes, exactly. We'll just get this giant, uh, uh, this giant hen. And here, here, it's soft and fluffy. Just, just go to sleep. Just set, the, set, yeah, yes, uh, yes I, I know that uh, the British, you know, the Britons have invaded. That's okay. Why uh, here? Just, just put your nose in this fuck. It'll be soft. So the server name will be Breakfast is Chicken and Squeak. And the password is at 333. I would love to and I would love to invite you in if you'd like, hon. Oh, okay. Alright, no worries. Sure. Let me just boot the game, get Nick in, and then we'll do that. Oh wow. We just started the game. There's a shitload of people in here. Yeah, let's see. The Malwagal Unity, the Coalition of Pathora, the Porgovan Regime, the Felmol State, the Esjagon Pious Confederation, the Free Lavis Battle Clan, the Favarian Conglomerate, the Tecarus Awareness, the Zadrian Mercantile Unit, the Parak Bonded Merchants, the Great Crash uh, Coalition, the Ratlek Trade Commission, the Yibrick Unity, the Orassian Consciousness, the Triac Commerce League, the Yvoric Sancrosanct League, the United oh. Kirillian Authority, the Great Palsimius Combine, the Galactic Babaki Hegemony, the Kroll Republic, the Union of Bilnok Realms, the Yaston Silencers. I you said the Union of Bilnok the Science Guy. And the Fafossan Trading League. Yay! Military. Oh. I can't wait till we meet the fucking Yaston Silencers, the Purification Committee. We are the Borg. Your technological and biological distinctiveness will be added to our own. You will service us. You want me to service you? Yes, all night if necessary. Wait, we just assimilated double Entron days. Nice moves, guys. Alright, shift tab to Maurice. Invite to lobby.